This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Cashfly.com, and Copperschlager. When you can't afford the best. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this in Southern California. It's Southern California and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put eerie in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Welcome to Dignation, episode number 55. I'm and, Kevin Rose. And Kevin Rose wasn't supposed to start the show, but that's okay. I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest user-submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D-I-G-G dot com. We are here in La Jolla, California. Yes. spent my summers as a child and my parents went to high school. Yes. Which is actually true and, and that's why nobody laughed. Uh, we're here for Comic-Con! Yeah. That is correct! That is correct. Awesome. It's so right, it's co-right. That's right. That is. It's and uh, we, we need some drinks though. Uh, we, we didn't have beers. Well, I thought maybe. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at this. It's Johnny it's Johnny. It's Johnny Johnny from oh, Cheeky Mark TV. He has a little parts there. Oh, oh Johnny, geez. thank you so much. Cheers. Well, welcome to the show. Johnny, Johnny, is is Lala uh, coming? Oh, oh, wow. she just left. No, Kevin, she just left. But she gave me, she gave me something for you, though. What's that? No. Oh, that, that's that was from Lala. Lala. Somehow it's not quite the same. I've been waiting years to do that. That was good. That uh, was really can we, good. Can we jumpsart the show a little bit? I think a little concentrated action should be the way to go. I oh, agree. Uh, Maybe. Uh, this oh, is rare. Go. I don't usually oh, do this shit. anymore. On the laptop. This is rare. You're a bit of a fan oh, of Oh, boy. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, you're the death of me. Oh, boy. He never gets a break. That's bad. Okay. He never gets a break on the show. Keith, uh, Keith, Keith, Keith. Keith, come on. There you go, Keith. Keith, 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 Keith. Keith. All right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. To Here the podcast go. set. Yes. The podcast and some hot binary reactions. There you yes. are. There you are. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Johnny, we will see you again. Comic Con. Comic Con, bitches. All right. That'll be the first and last shot I've had since Reno. Uh, uh, and I do mean last. Yes. Mm. I hear that in the back. <laughs> we should and mention. The thing is, bullshits are actually very true. I've stepped in a few. <laughs> we should mention. I don't even know where we are. Uh, uh, we want to thank everybody for coming out. Of course, Johnny. Oh Johnny. yes, yes. Martin Sargent is here. Martin Sargent. Martin Sargent. That's him. And he's right stealing beers. He's drinking my beer. And there goes my beer. And of course, uh, Posh Suicide from the Suicide Girls is right here. Yeah. Her beer's a little low, so guys, her beer's oh, yeah. low. I mean, somebody's got to buy her. Buy her a beer. There you go. Kevin Wood, but he's on TV right now. Uh, uh, podcast. Podcasty thing. TV. Yes. Pod beery TV. Uh, so we're here. We want to thank the guys from the La Jolla Brew House. You guys have really been great. Yes. Thank you so much. And they have some really good. Uh, we, they have some really good brewed beers here. Uh, that they brew specifically, we have yet to sample. So maybe when we reload, so to speak, we'll get some uh, La Jolla Brew House beers. Sounds good. That's good. Uh, shall we get into the show, people? Let's do it. All right. First story, a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer. Ah. Thank you very much. What do you think? 1,818 people dug the story. It's down. by Buddha. Ooh. 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 Thank you, crazy guy in the front. He's loud. Why do you not like? What's a with the movie? The, yes, it's a new movie. All right, here we go. It, it says, "This is submitted by Buddha 1822." I guess that was a good year for Buddhism. Uh, I don't uh, need to say anything more. It's back. Now I was totally like off my chair. Why is that? 
Because it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It cool. sucked! Because I'm a dork, I grew up in the 80s, wait, are you was, kidding me? No, but, what, did you watch Turtles? Hell How yeah. old are you? <laughs> I am Who I watched am Turtles? 16 years old, thank you very much. Yeah. Like, my yeah. little cousins watch Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Dude, Ninja Turtles. Dude, Ninja Turtles. Dude, Ninja Rocks. Well, first off, they're ninjas. <laughs> and they're turtles! In a half shell. They're ninja, dude, you know that they're called ninjas in a half shell. Yes, How do you I, not, not want to see this movie? I, I, dude, it's, I don't know. Well, it, it, was, a big, it was a big deal in Comic-Con, because it's going to be all right. CGI. It's going to be all the CGI. The animation looks pretty good. I will admit that. Yes! It looks like it's Ice, Ice awesome. T's in it. Ice T's in it. Ice T's going to do it. I don't know. Vanilla Ice. Ice. Be, oh, oh, yeah. Vanilla, Vanilla Ice, Ice too, I think. That was bad. That was, There's, good. look, look. It went awry, all right? Yes. Like a lot of things did. Jean-Claude Van Damme went awry. We all liked him. He did. I, you know, Vanilla Ice was in, uh, what was it, Turtles oh. 2? <laughs> go Turtles, go Turtles, ha! Kung Fu Turtles! Oh, thank you, oh, sir. thank you very much. What, now, what ESB, is this? ESB. This is ESB? ESB. All right. All right, ESB from the brew house. Let's see how we go. That's good. Ooh, that is good. That is really good. That is Real really foamy. good. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. That's the guy who wants to take his paragliding. That's interesting. How awesome would that be? That, no, 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 yeah, let me rephrase that. That's the guy who's gonna take his paragliding. That's where you jump off a cliff with like a thing. Right. <laughs> and it's not a plane, it's just a thing. It's not even really a thing, it's more like a napkin. It's like a wing, kind of. Sure, it's a nap, it's a, it's, a, it's a wing made out of napkins. It's like a wet nap. And you're doing this. Ah, uh, we're doing this. Yes. Yes. Good times. Ah, At some yeah. point. We should, do it, we should do an episode from the air. No. How great would that be? Right? With all the yes, women in This is a wonderful like, idea. Next episode, next story. Um, Jesus, help me. <laughs> Anything that involves us kind of dying, people get excited about. There's no dying involved. You do yeah, it. It's crazy. How is like, Keith gonna film us? He can't do it backwards. Keith could do it backwards from another paraglide thing. <laughs> that just looks weird. Oh, that's what's gonna look weird. <laughs> you know, this would be a totally normal situation, <laughs> but the cameraman seems to be backwards. <laughs> I, agree, I agree. Are you kidding me? They'll strange. be like, dude, those guys are crazy. Although you wouldn't be able. You think we have audio problems here? Jesus. You absolutely just right. Just be like. <laughs> I my nuts. That'd be the whole, and that'd be the best, that would be our highest rated podcast. <laughs> You're absolutely right. So right. I'm excited about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can tell I think that it's, it's, it's mixed. It is it's mixed. mixed. It's mixed. People are saying it's really, it's really, oh. it is really, it's controversial. Oh. It, no, you know what? See. It, it's controversial. It is really akin to a World War II movie. It's very controversial. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Somebody said breast screening, somebody said good, and then next another story. person mumbled and I was there. Okay. Next, story. next story. Next story, next story. Right you. Next story. Jason Calacanis offers to buy out dig users. 1,012 people dug the story, submitted by Mausoleum. What does that mean? So here's the deal. What does that mean? I love that guy. He's like, what does that mean? He's like, how can I make money? Uh, does that mean me? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, tell us what that means. Netscape boss Jason Calacanis has offered to essentially buy out the top users on Dig, Delicious, Flickr, MySpace, and Reddit for $1,000 per month. Oh, pff, come on. Like, those people need money. Oh, here's the deal. Jason needs to understand one thing. I, I should I be talking shit? Maybe I should. Dude, yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Clearly, clearly people want you to talk shit, Kevin. Step one is design a cool website and don't rip off other people. That's step one. <laughs> I mean, it. it's so funny he how like he posts, he posts he this on it. his personal blog, but it's clearly funded by AOL Time Warner, a multi-billion dollar company trying to squash Dig. It's bullshit. Man. Yes. 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 It's and they are killing babies, people. I heard that. <laughs> I mean, I really heard that somewhere. Thank I mean, you very much in the back. Confirmation. But it, it's, it's funny because like not only do they target like Dig, but they're taking down smaller sites. They're trying to target Delicious, Flickr. Like, what is he doing? Wait. I don't know. All right. Anyway. Devil, I'm going to play devil's happy for a second. Okay, go ahead. I don't know. He's an idiot. I, guess, I, can't, I, can't, I, I don't know. Even the, even the devil's down there going, dude, seriously, just chill. Chill. You got chill. That's cool. That's Everybody's awesome. cool. I got All a contract right, so. with Kevin. Yes, indeed. That's horrible. 
Uh. Um, so that's bad. So basically, what he's he, what he said that what he's doing is you you told me he's he's giving cash to people to use his site instead of yours. Well, basically right? to take I mean, the top it. dig right. users. Right. Right. So, I mean, the deal is, though, honestly, the, the top dig users, they, they rotate every few months. So you'll see, like, you know, the top 10 or top 20 will be a completely different list. I mean, remember Albert Pacino? Yeah, he was well, huge. Where, where, where dropped go? off the face of the earth. Probably had to go back to school or something. Oh. And then uh, basically, now it's like dirty frat boy. That. Although he's not in this episode, but yeah, but but uh, it's kind of funny if you take a look at the most popular stories though on Dig, you'll find out that it's not just the top 100 users. They only represent a fairly small portion of the actual overall most popular stories. Something like 14 or 15 percent of overall stories. So it really depends upon this huge mass of diggers. And right now we have right around a half a million registered users. And without this wow, huge mass. No one's going to use it. And the problem is even if he pays $1,000 a month to these people, sure, you'll get some good stories, but nobody's digging on your site, man. So, like, what's going to happen? They're yeah. just going to sit there and, uh, I don't know. Well, uh, honestly, what they'll do is they'll just pay a bunch of people through college. And then, uh, I mean, really, they'll, or they'll well, just drink a lot. It's clearly a, a sign of... A, That's what I do. I'd be like, oh, $1,000 to buy beer every I mean, month? Right. Hell yes. <laughs> they're, they're clearly a little worried. I mean, well, this is, oh, this they're is more than worried. I mean, they have me? to do I'm worried. I'm not even <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding so. me? If I was Netscape, I'd be like, I said, wasn't Netscape a browser? Yes. Am I crazy? <laughs> I mean, wasn't that like... It, uh, it's so funny, it, yeah. Is Netscape now like the Alta Vista? Which yes! is like, everybody's yes! like, who is that? No, what? I think Alta Vista... Alta, Alta, it was something? No, Alta is a little cooler than Netscape. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, yes, clearly. But in Netscape, I mean, it was a browser. I thought... Do they still have a browser? Yeah, they, well, they, they kind of do. It's built off of Firefox, yeah. which is cool, but, you Well, know. it's good, but I love that it's built off of Firefox. I could have a browser built know. off of Firefox. <laughs> if it it would be called Alifox. If it wasn't... <laughs> dude, uh, dude. If it, wasn't, it, if it wasn't AOL, it would be so much better, but it's AOL. Dude, that'd be man. great. It'd, it'd be like, oh. my little head in the corner, and it would like, fill up. I'd be like... Dude. You know this is going to happen now. Someone is going to awesome. fork Firefox and Alex's head is going to be spinning Alifox. in the corner. I'd use Alifox. <laughs> of course you would. And then every time a new thing would come up, it'd be like, dude. <laughs> now, what is that shit that we say? <laughs> that'd be awesome. What's, what are we saying? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Every time it loads a new page, it means like, all right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Every time a new page is loaded, here's the deal. <laughs> yes, yes, it would it would crash on Max. No. <laughs> you are a bad no. 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 I no. Come on, Alifax needs that five percent. Alifax. I'm sorry, Alifax. Alifax. Apple. Apple Rock. Every time we do a show, we get into this. Let's not get into no, no, no. this. It's, it's, all love. it's all love here. We're it's like, always mm. the girls. The girls like the apples. Right? That's a guy. Posh has got a power book. There you go. It's hot. It's hot in here. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Jason Calacanis equals Satan. Move on. Yes. Go ahead, oh, my story. Uh, Yahoo offers unrestricted MP3 non-DRM downloads. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I like where they're going. I like where they're going. I can do whatever I want with it. 2,038 people dug the story submitted by Gregory. I guess he's the guy that got that name. Uh, Yahoo is trying to beat iTunes by selling MP3s with no DRMs. They're charging more than 99 cents for it currently. Right, right, I know, we hear it. Which raises the question, ask, uh, Yahoo asked in a survey, would you consider paying a $1.09 for a single sure. unrestricted MP3 download yeah. that yes. would abs have absolutely no limitations on its use and could be transferred to any portable audio player? And I say, yes, Yahoo, yep. I would. Yep. Yeah. Hell yes. This would be a good move. Oh, dude. That's the biggest, uh, dude, yeah, well, that's the thing is that you could, it, one of the things that I hated about um, iTunes was because Yes, I have an iPod. I actually have two, I think. An old one and a video one. Um, but if I wanted something else, I couldn't use any of the software or, or any of the, the audio that I bought through iTunes. Right. And, and the, that's with that whole lawsuit that was going on Well, like I used to decrypt all mine, but then they blocked that. What was that de decryptor called for yeah. Apple? Him. Him, yeah, him. It was great, but even though I paid for it, I would decrypt it so I could move it around to computers. And, and people are like burning it to CDs and then ripping it back onto other software and uh, MP3s. Oh, that's just crappy. Well, yeah, it, it loses some of the, you know, 
goodness. goodness. Yes. The, the that's digital the, goodness. That's Alex's technical term. When it gets really what? technical, it loses some goodness. Everybody here knew what I was talking about. <laughs> that's what they call it. That's what they call yes. it. Technically, the and guy. Uh, the chip poker makes CPUs out of sand. I remember that dude. as well. That was way back in the day. That's awesome. Um, but this is a big deal because I honestly, I, I, I'm a big fan of. I bought it. I want to do whatever that bleep I want to with it. Yes. You know what I mean? Whoa. Yeah, like I paid the buck yeah. for it. Screw yeah. Fallout Boy. I want to put it on my thing. Fallout Boy. All right, screw Who likes Enya, Fallout whatever. Boy? Enya? Whatever. You just I, you named know. two really bad bands. Like, come on. First off, Fallout Boy, not that bad. Oh. oh. Not that bad. Look, I may not want to admit that I listen to them, but when I'm in the car and their songs come on, I sing the fuck out of those things. Oh, dude. Right? No. Just like Enya. Enya? Yes. Yes. I'm just kidding. Enya's a very nice woman, but I wouldn't want to have sex with her. But that said, I think Yahoo's in the right direction. Yahoo is going in the right direction, right? Yeah. We want to be able to take our yeah. stuff and go wherever we want. Which That's is true. one of the other reasons why is the iTunes story in here? Yes. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Which yeah. is another reason why I think the iTunes thing that they're gonna we'll talk about in a second, not gonna be a big deal. All right, next story. Google launches free Wi-Fi for trusted testers in Mountain View, California. 1,666 people dug the story submitted by myself. Free Wi-Fi? You yes. submitted this? Yes, I did. You bastard. Well, I got this scoop, so I had to No wonder it. you were like, hey, this is a great story. Let's talk about this. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, really? That's so intelligent. No, it's what good. What is this about? So Google lights up their, their free Wi-Fi for the first time. This is a link to the Google map that has the access points and the dead spots in Mountain View area. Expect to see this officially launched later this summer. So here's the deal. Oh, shit, I said it again. <laughs> I'm not supposed to say here's the deal. <laughs> so, uh, so here's Google. Here's the, the, the situation yes, as the I situation see it. Yes, the situation as I see it. Here's the this. situation as I see it. Uh, Google, Google has fired up their free access points. And Did you write soon, fired up or was that in the news article? It was in the news article. Okay, good. Not in San Francisco? Uh, not in San Francisco yet. Mountain View, California, so a little bit down south. But Why do they always start it in these areas that nobody lives? It's their hometown. F that. That's where they live. I want it. L.A. If you're going to do free Wi-Fi, do it in L.A. You know why? Because all of a sudden you will get slammed and you will know, know if it's going to work or not. I would, I would do it in San Diego first is where I'd Oh, that's go. good. No. Dude, that's, Kevin, that's that, do it. Kevin, that was that was totally like indie rock band. <laughs> I love you, San Diego. <laughs> You're totally like San Diego. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And it works. It works. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, beers. The whale's the vagina. There we go. Dude, my grandparents are here. His grandparents. Oh, Alex's grandparents. grandparents. Give it up for my family in the corner. My family in the corner. Yes, yes, yes. I love you, Grandma. Yes. They actually, it was really funny because um, they they saw an episode of Screensavers. Ah, what? When I would like when I was hosting for like two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true and painful. Uh, they were in the audience. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Only family that's ever Aww. seen it. I know, I know. And now they're here. We love yes. You. Um, but I think this is great. Yes. I want to use free Wi-Fi. Who would not? Now, how's Ooh. the speed? That's my big question. Uh, we don't know yet. This is just launching for trusted testers. Uh, do those trusted testers know how fast? I'll find out from my trusted source. You have a trusted source that's yes. a trusted tester for so, Google? I'll find out soon. I'll okay. let you know. Like in two weeks when I report oh, back. Oh, I don't want to wait. Just wait. Anyway, I'm going to be bored news. with it by then. Good news. Uh, so that's, yeah, that is great. I mean, we knew that, that Google was going to be attempting possibly to do this uh, across the world. But, dude, that is going to kill kill people. I mean, Comcast, Adelphia, AT&T, Verizon, it's going to slaughter them. Dude. I love it. I love Comcast. it. I love Comcast. So I just moved into a new apartment, and Comcast screws you, man. No what happened? Dude, I, so I signed up for cable, and it's like, would you like the basic digital? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. And they're like, OK, we'll give you the cable modem and the cable for for the first three months for $39. I'm like, that's oh, great. Shut that's, up. I'm like, that's OK. No, 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 no. Just wait. It gets better. After the three months, it's like $150. Oh. Yes! Dude. That's what they do! What are you doing? I don't know. What, what package did you get? I don't know. They, they ruin television networks. They do all kinds well, of things. Well, that's true. I will say that. But, um, no, because Heather, uh, Heather has Comcast. She has like five boxes in her house, all the channels open, and high-speed internet. It's like, what? Why does your girlfriend have so many boxes? Because she has lots of rooms. Fair enough. And she's a pirate, yar. Yar! <laughs> How great would that be if she was like, chip, 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 yar! <laughs> you weren't supposed to say I was a pirate, yar! 
I would, I would freak yeah. out if she came in here dressed up as a pilot. Like, oh she shit! She just walked in. She's like, yeah, yeah, master. <laughs> I'd scurvy your ship with a Hindenburgen, <laughs> which is pirate for knife. German pirate. Yeah, German, German pirate. pirate. All right, your who's story. Who's on the Hindenburg? Your which story. Uh, that was my story. No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I'm ready. Kevin Smith slams critic Joel Siegel is a dick. <laughs> 174 people dug the story submitted by Jubbub. All right. Uh, hilarious write up from Kevin Smith himself after Good Morning America's movie critic, Mr. Siegel, walked out of his NYC premiere of Clerks 2. Wait, it gets worse. Around 40 minutes, on the, around the 40 minute mark, guess he had to wax the old stash. I don't, I don't make it up, I just read it. So here's the deal is I guess there's um, what we will classify as a donkey show scene. <laughs> Whatever that means to you is up to you. Keith, Keith loves that Keith's, shit. Keith's like, oh yeah, alright, like, I remember that scene. I love it. Has so here's donkeys. the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. Kidding, Joel, Joel, here's the deal. Joel Siegel, who is a, a, a movie critic, yes. got up in the middle of that scene about 40 minutes and he yelled but out. not only did he get up, this is the thing that Kevin Smith was so pissed about. He's like, look, dude, you don't like my movie, that's fine. He was like, this is a donkey show joke. You know, I think the way he put it was it's straight from ass to mouth comedy. Right. It, that's it. It just comes right out of his ass and right out of his mouth. That's that's the kind of comedy. So he said, if you're not into that comedy, that's cool. We get that. Right. It's a donkey show. He has a right to Not leave. everybody's going to want to watch Walk that. out quietly. Walk out quietly. But his problem is that the guy stood up and said, oh, this is horrible. And as he walked out, he said, this is the first movie I've walked out in 30 fucking years. He didn't say. He said fucking did years. Did he really? With the stash, and he was all wobbly. Yeah. He's like, ah, oh, 30 fucking years. Which was, I would have been like, this is the best movie I've ever seen. <laughs> but the best part is, is that Kevin Smith was like, dude, they tell you not to talk during the movies. Yeah. Every movie at the beginning, they're like, please don't talk. Well, this is a screening too. And it's, and it's, it's a press screening. Basically, this is all press. So he's trying to influence other press by yelling yes, out, Yes, by it's saying, bullshit. that is a donkey show. I am leaving. You are bastards for saying this was a good movie. So he teared him up in his blog, right? He, he teared blog? him yes. up. He was talking about, he called his, <laughs> he called his mustache a cum catcher. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he like went to town on him. He, it was like gnarly. I was reading his blog and I was like, um, so Kevin Smith is slightly upset. Yeah. But the bottom line is at the end of the day, dude, if you don't like the movie, that's fine. Yes. You go. And then he started ripping in on how he like does these things like X-Men was not that X. Exciting. Oh, and so he was like, he was bad. like, dude, you you suck at writing yeah. movie reviews. Like your movie reviews are horrible. He said like, that Pirates of the Caribbean 2 will make everybody say, ho ho, oh my god, this is a good movie. Oh. I swear to God. And I'm like, oh, first that's off, just bad. first off, who's gonna read that and be like, this guy seems intelligent. I'm gonna see yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right? Like I don't think anyone would be like, this guy's an ass bag. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna see the movie whether I read his article. Well good or not. for Kevin Smith though. He deserves You know to what? Fight back. This guy. Because right. and, and he was Fight very he was very honest. He said, Look, I don't care if you don't like the movie. Say you don't like the movie. Say that you got up and left right. the movie. I do not care. Write it but in your review. Make a scene during the screening of my film. Which I agree with. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations, Kevin Smith. I don't know you, but I Oh, like no, you. no, Johnny, Johnny. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, you so bastard. You look Clark. I do look Clark. Because you guys are burning up under these hot uh, lights. We are burning up, Johnny, Johnny. Oh, Johnny, Johnny. Dehydration is the enemy. Oh, oh, no. no, I'll take this one. No, I want to no, try, try the Jaeger. Jaeger's mine. Jaeger's mine. You Jaeger's mine. Jaeger's mine. Jaeger's mine. Are we ready? Let's wait, do this. Wait, Keith, Keith. Keith. Uh, uh, Oh, oh, here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah. Three, oh, two, one. Here we go. One. Cheers. 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 Johnny, Johnny. Woo! Here, Johnny. I'm sure I'll never come back again. Don't. Mm. Please don't come back again, Johnny. I love you, but I love you, but you you hurt my liver. This show fucking sucks. I'm leaving. Oh, Monty, stop stealing his beer. That's the second. All he does is come and steal beers. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's, that's why I don't invite him to parties. Sex with some of the women in the audience. Sometimes. <laughs> that's pretty much what he does. But. That, I hope that happens. So to answer um, to your question, Johnny, Johnny, and Martin are both bastards. But uh, uh, Kevin Smith this seems to be a nice guy. Yeah, it's How do they do Tiki Bar TV? Well, they I'll, drink a yes, lot. Yes, they do. That's insane. We thought we'd drink. I'll bite my lip. Your story. 
All right, Apple to announce iTunes movie rentals at the Worldwide Developers Conference. 1,377 people dug the story submitted by WireGen. That's right, folks, movie rentals because the movies will be rented and not sold. Be <laughs> tell us not fuck with me. No, I love that. <laughs> That's right, folks, movie rentals because the movies will be they, rented. They wrote bad copy. I, I need a prompter. Keep get a prompter. No, you don't need a prompter. All right. Um, they're going to put, yes, they're going to put a time and date stump and so you will not be able to watch them after a certain amount of hours have gone by. Oh, well, who in God's name, you know what I say, you know what I say, you know what I say, this is Apple's first step into blockbusterism. No, I don't think so. I can pay them money, they will give me a file on my computer and then disable that file after a period of time. That to me, oh. sells Wait. suck bag. Wait. Wait, answer what? me this. I will answer you whatever you want. Okay, about let's this say system. they're charging a dollar ninety nine or dollar 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 ninety nine for a movie rental. Okay, yes. It doesn't start until you hit the play button, so you can keep it on your hard drive for as long okay. as you want. And I can only watch it on my computer. Up to forty eight hours to not only watch it from your computer, but they're also gonna announce a Mac well, mini type device. Gonna, maybe it'll it's be possible HDMI to out blah, 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 your TV. In twenty thousand years you'll be able to watch they it are. in your bathroom. You Isn't suck. <laughs> You're just an Apple hater. No, I'm not. Been ever Dude, since. like I like I'm a Microsoft or like a Yahoo what ha- lover. DRM what happened? No, what? I'm a DRM hater. <laughs> I say, give it to me, <laughs> or I'm gonna take it from you. <laughs> what, what happened? What happened? No, no, Kevin. Something no, Kevin. What happened, happened to you, Kevin? Something happened. What happened to the dark tipper? What happened to the man? What happened to the man? Not what happened to me! Dude, no, 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 no. No, bullshit. Thank you! Here's the deal. Now you're saying wait, because Apple no, did wait, it? Wait, wait. Because Apple no, 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 did it? No. DRM is how, cool? How, Somehow this is fun for you to give me money how, and I take the file? How am I a sellout when you're running Windows and I'm running Unix variation, man? How is that a sellout? <laughs> I've never been anything other than who I am. Dude, Marty was just like, snap! <laughs> that was like, That was like, All I'm saying is, yes. where's that girl that likes Max? She's back there somewhere. She's back in the back, and that guy up front. I'll see. All I'm, all I'm saying is, I like where they're going, but if I'm going to pay you money, I want to be able to have that file for the rest of the time well, that I Well, maybe you can buy it then. It. Maybe there's a buy option where it's like, rent or buy? Well, now this is totally different. <laughs> no, don't even. Now you oh, said no, no, don't no. Flip your shit. No, no, no. Now you said there's people up now, in those windows. That's oh my god, with cameras. What the hell's going on up there? That was like the ghost of Christmas candles. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, click. Oh, I got you. Fuck, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck do you come up with this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it's uh, comedy. Just, uh, okay, keep going. Uh, all I gotta say is, if if it was an option, if it was like, look, you can buy the, you can buy the video, you can keep the video for as long as you want, or for you know a fifth of the price, you can just watch it once. That's totally different. All right. But on principle, I don't like buying stuff that Let's I don't have. Let's wait to see until it's released. Let's wait to see. Let's wait to see. Next story, Alex. Next story. <laughs> Hacked AdSense on MySpace served spyware to a million people. 1,630 people dug the story. I hate spyware. I want to bite you in the ass. Uh, but not in a sexual way. Uh, Doug, this story is submitted by Hemphilly81. Okay. An online banner advertisement ran on MySpace.com and other sites over the past week used a, a Windows security flaw, ha ha ha, uh, to inflict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's a bitch. Hey, look, I know what, I know what, I know what I'm running. And, and yes, it's vulnerable. <laughs> and I'm fine with that, because I, I can play Doom. <laughs> Okay, okay. To infect more than a million users with spyware when people merely browse the site with an unpatched version of Windows, ha ha ha. According to uh, data collected uh, by iDefense, a VeriSign company. So basically what the deal was is that they used this, I guess like, Window, what is it? WFX or Windows? It's like a Windows, yeah, meta, it's like a meta file thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the bottom line is it's it's a file that ha- can use one of the flaws. So they were basically, every time you would log into the site and it would have a banner ad, this certain banner ad was actually installing spyware on your computer. That sucks. What? Yes. What? Like, what? I, I don't know if Firefox would fix that. I mean, maybe it would, Did but it, I don't were, know. It were would. Firefox it computers, it, were they vulnerable or no? Nope, not Firefox. 
Well, then that's good because I have Firefox. Yes. And if you had Alifox, you would know where you'd be so <laughs> secure. Not even Dude. funny how secure you would be. You know what? They need to make that just for the Mac. Alifox, that would be awesome. <laughs> then you'd have to switch. Dude, that's fine. I get a couple, you know, 10,000 downloads. That'd be great. That's horrible. We should stop. You know, I don't hate Mac. I like Mac. All right, that's it. So that's, that's the, uh, you have a story. Yes. Yes. All right, last story of the day. Oh, oh no. No. no! I can't. I can't. I can't. It's, it's, it's raspberry juice and apple and the, the... I hope this is all juice. Hey, cheers, cheers, cheers. Johnny, Johnny is not invited to any other show. because there's this much left in the glass. I'm like about to set it down. Dude, wow. that's what our audience does. Thank you so much. Oh, shit. That's good. We need to We need. Oh, a hep, a hep. this is the house half? This is the house half of ice. actually quite nice. This is the best thing in the world. Kevin, this is the house half of ice. I'll have to try that as well. I feel like all of a sudden we're, have you ever seen that show Beer Nuts on HDNet? No. There's a show, yeah, there's a show about beer, like guys who, it's it's basically us with no technology stories. <laughs> they literally go from like city to city and like, I don't know, you rape people. No, that's horrible. <laughs> they go, they just drink beers and it's fun. All right, last story. Details of the AOL customer retention manual have been revealed. 2,790 people like the story submitted by SF Dude. Find out how AOL trains its customer service reps to never let you unsubscribe. This is pretty crappy. I hate AOL so much. So AOL, no, but AOL used to be cool. What happened to it? No, they didn't. No, it didn't. Dude, when they, start, when they started, first off, first off, I just have to say, they did come from Vienna, Virginia, which is my hometown. So I had to be like, when I was back in the day, they started and I was like, hey, an upstart, a startup company, ISB, out of my hometown? There's only like 10 oh. people here. Oh, hey, look, at, <laughs> look at Jay. Oh, I just spent my summers in La Jolla. Down the street, it was fun. But uh, anyway, go on, what's the rest of your right, story? So anyway, the deal is that, did you guys listen to that audio clip when people, when this guy was trying to unsubscribe from AOL? Yes, yes. They teach them that. Like, it's in the manuals. Like, they're like, ask more questions. They say, don't look at this as like someone that's unsubscribing, look at it as a potential sale. Because you can oh. keep the person. It's gonna be a, no, it's they shouldn't bad. look at it like that. They should look at it as somebody who's not happy with their they service. They should let them go. They need to let the people go. Yes. Let, I got all biblical let, all of a sudden. I know, I know. Let You're my like people Moses. go. <laughs> You're like, like Pharaoh, let my people go. <coughs> Damn you, AOL, and your pyramid building. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I just want my email. Jesus, these stones are so heavy. I just, I was trying to contact my grandmother in La Jolla. Who uses AOL? <laughs> Who uses AOL? Anybody he, here he, use AOL? Seriously. Yeah. Hand. Wait, there's a hand. No, it's a camera, it's a camera, it's a camera. There's a guy in the back, he's got a camera, he's like, ah, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, this is where they asked if I was using AOL. That's why the yeah, scream goes weird. It's back, it's back, it's back. That's that was awesome. the back of some nice lady's so chair. Yeah. Dude, I, Jen, I made a mistake. I, I know, dude, it is true. We were we all there. We made mistakes. I was a prodigy We tried to before meet I knew girls better. on AOL. I, I, you know what the best part was when I, I started <laughs> I used Prodigy, and the only thing you could do that was even slightly entertaining on Prodigy was shop for cars. What? You could you could go to like Ford.com, or it wasn't Ford.com, but it was like the Ford section of Prodigy, and you could actually like be like, I want a Ford Taurus, a 1981 <laughs> Ford Taurus, and you could set the colors, and I was like, nah, this is kind of fun, and I was like, Jesus, I gotta get outside. <laughs> I was like, I'm shopping for a Ford Taurus at age 13. You never tried to like pick up on girls on AOL chat rooms? No. No? I should have. Come on. I should Johnny, Johnny's laughing. He did. I should have. I would never. I don't. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, see? Oh. Exactly. I somehow I had a blind date with Johnny Johnny at 15. <laughs> I was like, hey, and this girl sounds hot. And he's like, this girl sounds hot. Uh, <laughs> not good. I have a small fez. Yes. All right. That's it. That's it. Is that it? That's it. Oh, my God. I know. I know. We are going to run out of tape here pretty soon. 
before we hit before we hit the emails, we have to take our hats off or fezzes off to uh, yes. our sponsors. Uh, if you want to make an impact online, go to GoDaddy.com. Has what you need. Dot com names as low as a dollar ninety nine plus Worldcast hosting, fast and easy website builders, and much much more. Plus, enter the code DIG when you check out D I G G and save an additional ten percent. Off your order, get your piece of the internet. Do we should start giving out free domain names to everyone that comes to an event. Yeah! That would be cool. Uh, okay. Like we give like little <laughs> tickets. Let's wait till the next one. In San Diego. In San Diego. Yeah! Oh, how quickly you can appease the masses. <laughs> all right, do, do the Cashfly one. Do the Cashfly one. Uh, thanks to Cashfly for handling all of our Dignation distribution. Go to Cashfly.com slash Dignation and use the coupon code Dignation when you sign up. up and you will get the first month up absolutely free. That's awesome. So emails, 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 emails. You, okay. This guy sent us a picture of him with a Dignation shirt on the Great Wall of China. That's pretty hot. It says, hey Kevin, hey Kevin and Alex, I'm in China for the summer. I had a chance to visit the Great Wall, so I thought you might enjoy a picture of me with my Dignation shirt, Mark. Thanks, Mark. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you had an email, right? Uh, I don't. You, he did not have an email. Um, if you want, we uh, our guys at Geek Drone, if you haven't checked yeah. out Geek Drone, tell us about they're going to be doing a really cool coverage of uh, Comic Con. We're sort of do doing the like superfluous. No, we don't. We They're don't? giving them out tomorrow at Comic Con. Ah, if okay. you see the Geek Drum guys at Comic Con tomorrow, they will give you a free shirt. Where will it be? In the Comic Con. <laughs> I don't even know where they're going to be. Sales Pavilion. There you go. They'll be at the Sales Pavilion 1 o'clock doing their show. Um, that's it. Look, if you want to check out the stories I've dug throughout the week, you can head over to dig.com slash user slash Alex Albrecht. Or dig.com slash user slash Kevin Rose. Also, you can check out the stories we've talked about in this episode and all the other episodes we've ever done, which is a lot, 55 actually, at uh, dig.com slash user slash dig nation. Thank you so much for having us, San Diego! Yeah, yeah. Until next time, Netscape sucks. Oh! Hello. Welcome to Alex Albrecht's house. I'm Johnny Johnny, Johnny from the television podcast, TVRTV.com. Today we're preparing margaritas. We're using a margarita mix and a shaker. Yes, I'm a li- I can be honest. I'm a little tipsy. I can't. I was the thing with the whole making from scratch. <laughs> oh. Not, it's just, it's see? With the banging. <laughs> Oh, look who's here. It's Kevin Rose from the hit podcast, Dignation. Hi. How are you? Did I get you drunk? Where's Dr. Phoebe? He's dead. From the hit podcast, Oh, look who is that. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Jeez, you'd think it's my it's house. I'd be cool invited to the shoot. How cool is it? I know, dude. I know. Margarita, sir? Yes, like... although I think somebody's calling me and it might be... Oh, it's Hollywood calling? Should we be paying him for this? Fuck, what are you doing? I don't know. That's somebody who's not going to get a voice in the back. My dirty hands, my dirty hands. This is him. Terrible. Can you get something to drink? Mess, mess, mess. I feel like there should be a problem with solving right now. Like something's wrong. The problem is so right. The niche is long over here, Billy. For Keith, the artist working man in show business. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>